What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mark Dark, and I'm back with another video, and today we'll be talking about your boy, Brandon, the shy season one, Brandon's downfall. Um, now, we all know your boy, Brandon, he done came a long way from episode one. I'm be talking about a guy that pretty much had a bright future. Now, I still think Brandon's future is bright, and he, he can still bounce back, but from what he came from until now, it's looking very bad for him. You know, we all know that he had a good job. You know, he was with Jerrica. They had a dream of one day owning a restaurant. And that dream pretty much, I don't want to say it went away, but it kind of got messed up along the way. Now, we know that his brother Coogie died, which was he was killed. Um, him and Jerrica broke up. And he quit his job. Um, now, if you've seen the last episode, you know that Brandon decided to not snitch on his boy, Luis. He did not want to snitch on him at all. Um, he decided that it wasn't worth staying at his job, I guess. And he wanted to pursue his own little thing. Uh, as of right now, Brandon don't know what he's going to do. That's what, exactly what he told Jerrica. He doesn't know what he's going to do. Now, I think his job is still going to try to call him back. I think Sarah... Maybe tr she may try to try to communicate with him and see if he's going to come back, you know, and not blow this. Um, to be honest, I think Brendan most likely is looking to start a food truck business. And in this next episode, I believe he's going to hook up with his cousin and they're going to try to figure out something to try to get a business started or at least to make some type of money. Um, Brendan, he's going to stay in the food business regardless or what it is, because that's something that he's great at doing. He's great at doing um, food work. So hopefully that's what he continues to do. Another thing is this. I hate that Brandon, he left the job and he kind of gave a couple secret recipes to the chef. And I'm pretty sure the chef is going to use them and make money off of them. So Brandon, man, I hope he can you know, what I'm saying, get it together. I just hate to see all that potential you know, blown down the drain because he didn't want to tell on Luis because Luis wanted to steal fish. Now, I got a question for you guys. If that was your boy, that was your friend, I'm not telling you to snitch, but would you have, would you have quit your job? Would you have quit your job because you didn't want to snitch? Now, like I said, if it was a job that I, I, I thought, you know, that could pretty much lead me to open it up a restaurant in the future, I think I probably would have ended up staying. I don't know if I would have just said, you know what, I'm going to quit because Luis is still in fish. Now, I understand that his boss wanted Brandon to fire Luis, which was kind of messed up. The boss should have did that shit himself. The chef should have did it himself. Sarah, you know, she's the one that wouldn't told. Now, Brandon made a mistake, and that's telling Sarah in the first place. Now, if I knew Luis, if he's my boy, if I knew he was taking some shit, first off, you know, I'm not telling on him regardless. But at the same time, I'm not about to tell anybody. Why would I tell Sarah? He got to remember that Sarah is his boss and she's married to the chef. So, of course, Sarah is going to go back and tell her husband that Luis is stealing. You see what I'm saying? Brandon thought he can, you know what I'm saying, trust her. Like, OK, I kissed her whatever. She cool. She cool. And then got caught up. And dry snitched on his boy, and she went back and told the chef. So it's kind of Brandon's fault that all this shit happened. Now it ain't his fault that Luis was stealing, but still, he should never have told Sarah anything. You know, he could have just been like, "Well, we don't know where the hell is. I don't know where is that. That's that. That's that's it. That's what I would have said. I don't know who took it at all. But Luis took it. They brought the fish back and. The chef didn't want it, so Brandon said, you know what, I'm out. Now, hopefully Brandon does something, like I said, starts that food business, doesn't get into any more trouble. We already seen him in too, too much trouble as it is. Now it's time for the upcoming of Brandon. We seen him go through a lot from losing his brother, losing Jerrica, quitting his job. Now what is Brandon going to do? What is he going to do? Is he going to approve or... Will he continue to go downhill? So Brandon, he's been on a downfall. 
But now it's time for him to come up and to prove us all wrong, man. I hope so. I hope he don't get hurt and do nothing stupid. And it seems like it's going well with his mother now. And I remember talking about Brandon at the beginning of the season. I talked about how, you know, him and his mother have problems. And hopefully and eventually these two can settle their problems and differences. And I can say that that at least is being fixed right now. It seems like their relationship is becoming stronger. He's cool with his mother. And it don't seem like there's any problems with that. But now it's time to fix these other things. Will Brandon get back with Jerrica? I don't know. But you guys let me know. You leave it in the comments. What do you think of Brandon's downfall? It's not really a downfall. I mean, we, it's really the second half of Brandon for this uh, season. What do you think he's going to do next? Will he get back with Jerrica? Will he start a food business? You know what I'm saying? Or will he go back to his old job? You guys let me know. Leave it in the comments. I will continue to bring you more of the shy content in the future. But thank you for supporting your boy. But I'm going to get on out of here, man. It's your boy, Mark Dark. I'm out. Peace. Yeah. Super Bowl goals. I'm at the crib of Puff. He got Kaepernick on the phone. He in a whole different mode. Angel head, 2 a.m. for being whole. Just to show him how I treat the city like my humble abode. Hey, tell me if TD Bank is...